guys hi guys how is it going so today we're gonna uh, talk about this first session that i did uh two weeks ago and this was you know i did some chest some shoulders and triceps just to restart and to feel things so here i'm just uh, warming up uh you know empty bar i did a few sets empty bar and i'm doing a few sets as well at uh, 40 kg here so i'm really gonna talk uh, to you in another video about warming up and how i think it's very important to warm up and I'm just not talking about warming up like 90% uh, <clears throat> uh, of the people do. I think there is actually a, a, a good way to warm up, a different way to warm up that I really want to uh, explain and, you know, emphasize in the video. So here, 60 kg, just, you know, filling the reps. I haven't benched for like uh, a long time. Um, and you're, you know, during the lockdown, I've basically just done like sets of 100 reps, like very high reps. And I will explain in another video as well how, you know, sets of 100 can be very beneficial. Um, so here I did a set of 80 and I just tried 100 to see how it feels. Uh, so, you know, that went pretty okay. I think I could get probably 120 these days. Um, and here I just did, you know, five sets at uh, 70 kg, uh, you know, kind of pose. I mean, the, the video is speeded up a bit, so it's hard to, to tell. Um, but yeah, I just did sets, you know, just to fill, uh, the bench, like how, you know, how I'm feeling it. And so then I went on to dips just to see how it goes as well. So, you know, dips because I lost some body weight, fat and muscle at the same time. Like they're, they're still like, they're quite easy, you know, body weight. I did like four sets, like 10 to 15 reps, I think. And so that's weird because I do feel like. I have much more potential than this, obviously, because, you know, on the bench, I used to, like, go up to, like, four plates, and on the dips, 105 kg, so, like, you know, I feel that I'm much stronger than this, but I can't do as much as I used to do, but I still have the sensation that I should be able, because I've done these movements and this kind of, like, heavy weights so much, so many times, that, you know, it just feels like I should be able, but I can't yet, so it's hard to explain, but, uh, yeah. The, the body is just literally ready to like, you know, restart. Um, here I did some sets of flies as well at 20 kg. So I did like three sets, but I'm not going to show like everything. Uh, that was just to feel, you know, to, to see how it goes. So here from some, some shoulder presses, um, you know, three sets at 12 kg, 20 reps, nothing exceptional, but feeling it restarting. Um, so here I used to, to go up like 50 kg before. So that, that felt pretty nice. And then I went on to lateral raises. So lateral raises is literally the best exercise I could ever advise to anyone for shoulders. Like I have a little experience with the lateral raises is that, you know, I used to be at boarding school when I was 17 or 18 years old and I couldn't really do much exercises for shoulders. And I was getting my dumbbells there in my room at night. And I was literally just doing like 20, 25 sets of lateral raises. So I talk a lot about this in specializing in bodybuilding in another video where, you know, focusing on exercises that matter is very efficient. And because I didn't have much to do in my door room, then I didn't have the choice to lateral raises. That's when I learned that, you know, hammering one exercise can be very efficient and you become very good at it. So here I did um, three, four sets uh, at seven kg on lateral raises for like 35 reps. So, you know, pretty decent, I think, like for a restart. That's just because I really used to do a lot of lateral raises. I really love this exercise. And then I jump back to, uh, well, close, close bench, uh, close grip benching for my triceps. So I did like four sets, uh, you know, at 60 kg, just like feeling it, feeling my triceps working. And so then after uh, these exercises, I went on to doing uh, skull, skull crushes. So I just wanted as well, you know, that's skull crushes is an exercise I used to do a lot. So usually I do them on incline uh, bench and I really go usually behind the bench with my arms, you know, to really stretch it uh, a bit like pull pullovers basically. Uh, but here I decided to do on the flat bench, you know, I just, I didn't want to make it complicated. Just wanted to feel, uh, you know, the movement. And so I did with like 20 kg, I did four sets of like 15, 20, 20 reps. And obviously that wasn't too hard. Um, but yeah, it feels like there's so much more potential. I think I used to do them at like 65, 70 kg, just core crushes. Um, so, you know, like 
this session was like a test session and that was like two weeks ago um and i haven't even trained that much since then but i've done a few sessions and i can already tell that you know my body i feel like it's much um like like it's already a bit bigger and like just waiting to like grow like it's weird when i eat quite a lot of food like you know my body is just like kind of like in a pump mode like i feel like there's glycogen you know restoring and just like waiting to smash like some biceps so that's a bit a bit strange like some friends told me muscle memory is a bit like you know steroids when you when you go back to training uh, and i feel like the size is coming back back much quicker uh, than the strengths and a lot of people have told me that as well i wouldn't expect like to go back to full strength um quickly but i would expect to gain back you know 90 percent of the size like quite quickly um, so we'll see how it, how it goes and I think it's a pretty interesting journey, you know, the muscle memory thing So hopefully you'll, you'll like, you know, this series um, So yeah uh, If you liked it, you know, share like and subscribe and uh, You know leave comments and I will stay tuned. I'll see you next time